What's going on, everybody? Sometimes I just simply do not feel like making videos anymore. Um, I'm going to tell you why. You know, we're in a global pandemic that's creating a huge strain on the economy. And trying to balance everything, personal life, professional life, social, etc., etc., it be, it's become very apparent to me that this blogging, this blogging shit is, I always talk about value. I always talk about doing things that bring value. And this blogging stuff, see, I started blogging a few years and You know, I although I do enjoy making videos, I really do. But sometimes I say, you know, I have to really assess. I, I, I'm always one who talks about self-realization, self-reflection, self-introspection. Really review and evaluate every now and then to, you know, make sure things are, quote unquote, in order this blogging stuff really hasn't brought any value in my life i could say that maybe it's the content maybe it's the fact that i don't you know i'm not one to just chase clout and stuff like that and Again, this is just one aspect of many different things. This is not my complete, total life, you know, uh, as far as blogging. I don't live and breathe blogging. I don't do that. And uh, the reason why I say this shit is crazy is because even... Like, I'm a small, what they call a small YouTuber, whatever that means. You know, they equate size with, you know, the amount of views and the amount of subscribers and, and all this, whatever quantifying uh, figures that, you know, YouTube created to basically describe your worth to them that type of uh, mechanism is detrimental because people have also and I've seen it throughout YouTube people have created or allowed this whole thing that YouTube creates where the number of subscribership that you have, viewership, etc., etc., equates to who you are as a person. So if you're a small YouTuber, you're a small person. If you're moderate, whatever that means, you're a moderate person. If you're a big YouTuber, then, you know, your stature is the same. And that's all bullshit. That's that's just all bullshit. Connecting to that type of matrix is uh, destructive. Allowing these figures, and it's the same with all social media platforms. What do the young people say when they have a following? Like, you know, catch me on my Instagram or Snapchat. How many followers you have? You know, my Twitter following is popping and all this stuff that means nothing it means absolutely nothing okay hang on one second
It means absolutely nothing. And if you're not careful, if you're not careful, that, that type of thinking can become you. You know, people look at, like, it, it's, it's just crazy because you have folks who really, really compete because that's what this creates, a competitive type of name. And, you know, don't get me wrong. Having a competitive advantage and competition is healthy in business because this is also a business for those who want to monetize their channel and incur revenue. We understand this. We understand that. And you want to have be in some, some form of a healthy standpoint where you can, you know, go against others who may be in your same niche market or or genre and, and you know, you work to serve the same audiences, of course. Having a competition, being competitive is fine. I get it. You find competition in every element of life. But when it becomes unhealthy, when people just wake up depressed, when people, you know, are completely distraught or become distraught from the, the YouTube or the Internet figures that don't equate to what they would like to see. Or, you know, it's like, come on, man, life is much more there's so much more there's so much more to life than views and subscribers there was a life that was unfolding and evolving before social media what was happening then what were you doing then and i'm not talking about extremely young people you know you know teenagers or whatever but youtube is what 15 years old and Facebook about the same Instagram all this stuff Facebook owns Instagram but but you get my point yo it's bullshit this whole trolling thing with the trolls like there's just so much to this that's just crazy how many social media personalities have, you know, really hurt themselves because all they have is their, at some point, fictitious, fictitious, <laughs> that's a new term, fictitious persona that they created behind a camera. You could say that you're being real, but sometimes being real doesn't pay. So you, you, and then when you are being real, you have to deal with the consequences. And there's so much danger. Everyone out here is not your friend. They could pretend to be, but they're not. If a person tells you that they're a crackhead, believe them. Especially if they're showing you their crackish ways. If someone is telling you that they rob and steal. If they're flat out stone cold criminal believe them everyone is not out here for your best interest especially on the internet and that's just the truth how often do you find people who get their information exposed on the internet sure you could say there's methods to you know, contact, contact law enforcement and all that. But why, why even get to that point? The cyber bullying, you know, the stalking. Folks have killed themselves behind stuff like that. There's a, it's a gift and a curse with all of these things. It's a straight up gift and a curse. Then you have people who get on YouTube and they know or not even YouTube. They get on social media. It's just this is just a plain fact right here. You could be you you could declare that 
you know, you could declare that, you know, you, you have different things going on in your personal life. And then you have people who just prey on your misery. There are people who get a kick, who get their rocks off of someone else's misery, no matter who you are. They don't know your situation. They don't know your story. They just want to see you sad. They just want to see you down and out. They just want to see you miserable. And that's it. And be disrespectful. You could you could say, you know, you have a, a, a significant other or even a spouse. And people will just say disrespectful things to get your spouse un unhappy or to disrupt your family, say things about your children, say things about your relatives, and say all kinds of just disrespect, the trolling, all this crazy stuff. I mean, come on, man. Y'all you, you could, could have it. It's a fact. Y'all could have it. I don't, this thing doesn't bother me. Like, as far as, like, this whole YouTube thing i don't my channel's not monetized i just enjoy making videos but then after a point after a point it, it gets to it 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 reaches a uh, a level where i'm like nah this this ain't even worth it this isn't even worth it there's too much shit going on in the world You know, turning on the camera and all this stuff. You know how much shady shit is going on in the world? When you put yourself out there, you become a target. All for the price of what? Some bullshit fame? Fuck the fame. You put yourself out there with the world and, and then what? What type of praise are you looking for? What type of exalt, exalting are you looking for? What, 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 what you, recognition of what? People don't care. And then when you have light, what, what do you think happens when you're a person of light? And I'm not going to break that down for those who don't understand. If you don't understand, I don't know what to tell you. But when you're a person of light, you attract flies. You attract insects. The motherfuckers are blind and they're tired of being in the dark. So when you have some light, they're attached to you. Like flypaper. And for whatever reason, either they want you to become a piece of shit like them, or they want to learn, which is, you know, more favorable. But then there are those people that just don't want anything good for you at all. Then you have individuals who just scheme and lurk in the background. They scheme, they lurk, they investigate in the background like some weirdo shit. They do weirdo shit. Stalk your social media pages. Look your name up. Because they have nothing better to do. I'm prideful. I'm very prideful. And I, and I have a lot of reason to. But I don't talk shit on YouTube and talk about what I got, what I've done, etc., etc. Because nobody cares. But one thing I won't do, one thing I won't do is sleep on anything. I don't ignore, I don't just let shit, let, you know, go by and keep my eyes closed. My eyes stay wide open. Experience taught me to stand on my two, on my two feet. Not my knees. Experience taught me to use the God-given mind that I was given. Use it. Experience taught me to think before I speak. Experience taught me to move with purpose. Many people don't do that, though. And I've learned the hard way. 
And what I've tried to do just by sharing my experiences is hopefully encourage others to think so I could learn, so I could also learn. Because this is, these are opportunities to create an exchange and, and, and discourse and, in, and positive interaction, not some negative bullshit. Not some unhealthy, destructive shit. I'm not about that, man. I've done shit on different topics. I've spoken on different topics. Crypto, crypto's boring as fuck. Let me tell you, crypto's boring as fuck. You know when crypto gets exciting? When the drama, when the drama unfolds. That's the only time. Because because when things are working and, and then when, the, when there's a bear market, people are just all depressed. They want to go kill themselves. It's a fact. Crypto's boring as fuck. And that's cool. But when crypto gets exciting is when there's some scandal, petty bitch shit going on. That's when people, oh, oh, who's fighting here? Who's fighting there? Which community is going against which community? Which you, uh, 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 content creator is fighting against another content? Just dumb, stupid, gay shit. Y'all could have that. Because that shit doesn't pay my bills. That shit is just annoying. Like that itch you keep trying to scratch. In the crack of your ass. Meanwhile, you got worms in that motherfucker. And then you didn't rinse your fucking enema. Ain't working right. So you got worms in your asshole. That's how, that's how this, this, this shit with crypto drama feels like. It's stupid, pointless, futile, so waste of fucking time. My fucker's looking for all kinds of attention. All kinds of attention. Keep looking, you're gonna find it. You may not like what you find too. There's a lot of people can't handle the shit that come with this. My thing is, yo, I turn on the camera and I talk my shit. Whether it's well received or not, this immaterial, I don't give a shit. I talked about deadbeat motherfucking dads. I talked about fucking crazy women that don't know how to keep good men. I talk about bum ass motherfuckers that don't know how to be men in truth. Talked about relationship, all kinds of shit. Motherfuckers who don't pay their child support but expect to live a free life and not be in their children, in the lives of their kids. All kinds of shit. Talked about bum ass scammers in crypto. Talk about motherfuckers who can't even, you know, be genuine to themselves, much less to their own crypto community, who flip flop and contradict themselves left and right. I talk about shit going on in the world real shit real shit I see somebody incriminating themselves on the fucking video in the fucking video and I tell them yo take that shit down stop being an asshole because I care I'm not doing that shit anymore Not doing that shit anymore. In crypto, you know, people develop these 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 pseudo attachments, and they think they're part of something. Motherfucker, when the life really really hits you, and I say this all the time because this is the truth. When real shit hit incidents happen in your life, see who really fucking in your in your, in your pseudo fucking friendship shit in your mind make believe. See who's really gonna be there for you when you're at your worst. Bet you could count on one finger. I mean, <laughs> one finger. <laughs> if you have one, you bless. But I bet you could count on one hand how many people are really going to be there in your corner. The fuck is this all about? I talk about music, different things, battle rap. 
things that I like, things that I like. I'm not saying those topics are, are, are real, but I talk about things that I like. I'm myself. Been through all kinds of ups and downs. But at least I like to impart and extend and give an energy a part of me. I'm not doing that shit anymore. Nah. And, and I'm not saying this video so I can get a bunch of comments and people, oh, no, don't do it. You can give up. I don't care about that. Good comments, bad comments don't pay my bills. None of that shit is, is relevant. None of that. None of that shit is relevant. But you don't know who you're dealing with. Like as far as like you 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 click that camera on, you open yourself up to the three or four billion people on this rock they call the earth that has access to the internet. You think everyone there, everyone who has access to the internet, to YouTube or whatever streaming platform you're working on, is out there for your own best interest? There's two, there's two things going on here at all times, good and bad, good versus bad. And then there's levels within that shit, too. You expose yourself to all that shit. I'm good. I've been doing great up to this point outside of fucking YouTube. And I'll continue to do what I've been doing. Great work. It's a fact. It's a fact. Those who, you know, I've developed decent, you know, communications with, that's real and I'm appreciative of that. I'm appreciative of those 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 opportunities and those contacts that I've developed because that's the only good that came from all this shit. The rest is just sucker shit. Like I say, I don't live on my knees. I don't live on my knees. I don't live on my knees. I don't sell my soul for no bullshit attention and no subscribership and, and views and nothing like that. My shit is about quality. I don't give the best video content as far as quality and all that. I got, I got other things going on and that's just not where my interest lies as far as buying thousands of dollars of equipment and doing all this wild shit. If I was 20 years younger and YouTube was out, then maybe. But not now. I'm not doing that. No need for it. And all the bullshit could go to rest, man. Everything else is just nonsense. As I'm making this recording, an amber alert. See, real shit going on. Amber alert goes on. Real shit going on. In the NYC, they talking about lockdowns again. Because motherfuckers in Brooklyn and Queens are not wearing masks. This is what they're saying. So the health department is out there trying to, you know, do outreach to tell the people to wear masks. And the people are telling them in Jewish communities, Borough Park, for example, you have people in Borough Park telling the doctors, the, 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 the top administrators for the city health department to go fuck themselves. Real shit. Real shit's going on. Continue, continued economic loss, motherfuckers got no money, you can't pay your rent, barely could pay for, 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 for food, can't get a job, you gotta hustle and do all kinds of weird shit, and you mean to tell me, I'm looking to for YouTube to, on some hangout, gay shit, fuck out of here. All the wicked shit going on, the, 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 the human trafficking, sex trafficking, all this shit with children, all this shit going on where people don't know whether they're coming or fucking going, moving around like chickens with our heads. You don't know who the fuck is watching you. And in crypto, the shit is so, it's easy to be anonymous in crypto. And you got to think, this shit had, had its hands, it's, it's, it's open to anybody, anybody, or anything good. And anything bad is in this fucking community. 
anything good and all things bad are in the fucking community because this shit's about making money. Greed is the root of all evil, man. So you find the shit in crypto. And I'm good with all that dumb shit. I'm good with all that. I'm, I don't have to do... I, I'm not saying good. For those who don't understand, I said I'm good meaning I'm done. I'm done with all that dumb shit. Scammers, you know, just, just washing their money. doing They do what they do. They've been doing it before crypto. Keep. I don't need to be a part. I don't need to be exposed to none of that dumb shit. That's why I don't fuck with a lot of these people in crypto. I say, what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't fuck with y'all like that. There's a reason. And if you know what I'm talking about and you understand, it is what it is. You don't have to be offended. Don't be offended for the truth. Because if you know and you, you, you have shit worth fighting for, worth protecting, you understand. And you can stand on your square like me. I'm out.